please, please, will the real Holy Spirit of God please come forward, please. Hi friends, this is Kalpur Piso. My brain is creating a thought. Be cut. I'm going to explain and again keep exposing a neurological disorder like schizophrenia that nobody seems to see. And is is the plague of America, and that is the belief in the resurrected zombie that says with blood. In other words, Christ psychosis. Please, please, will the real Holy Spirit of God please come forward? That's the reason you have all the shootings in school the survivalist, and the millions of churches that are practically in every corner in America, keeping people fail-tarded, ignorant, teaching them lies, false beliefs, and of course, at the core, of schizophrenia is the acceptance of false bizarre metamagical beliefs as if they were true. And do you know what is interesting that people don't understand and they don't seem to realize and they ignore it? Is that the brain emerged blank, lacking information, and it doesn't have a soul. But you know what a soul and a spirit is? And this is all there in Latin and Greek, from anima and the etymology of the word. Spirit means pneuma, means gas, means this thing that we call oxygen and air. They didn't know that in those days. So the brain has not oxygen. I mean, it's swimming when it's a little babe in the amniotic fluid, fluid, like a fish. It doesn't use the nose. Everything is the placenta that keeps the baby alive. It's the um, apparatus the life supporting system that babies wear. But then when you emerge into the spirit world, into the oxygen, that's when they, you get the air, you get the spirit. That's when you have your soul. It's when you breathe your air. And of course, the Christ psychosis infected imbeciles, the thing that we are something special created by gods. They are, they are tired and they are stupid. And this is the problem in the United States of America. We are all product of a fuck or coitus. And here we are. If we believe in gods and imaginary friends, we are no different than schizophrenics. And this is the problem in America. That's the reason you have racism, pedophilia, the survivalists, the, the men that uh, kill the bus driver and uh, build this bunker. Because see, when you 
suffer from schizophrenia or Christ psychosis, you believe in raptures and Armageddon and all that crap. You have paranoia. You have paranoia just like a schizophrenic, and you have all these false beliefs. So there is no difference between religious beliefs and schizophrenia. Religion, faith is organized in schizophrenia. It's a product of a malfunctioning brain. Will the real Holy Spirit of God please come forward? Please. Christ psychosis at schools. Thought, you know, you send your These are Christian nuts. Thinking that they're going to be safe. Yeah. Bible believing morons. All the schizophrenics. Sure That's the problem. To bring him home safely? To pray? That's, that's a lot. Sheriff, your thoughts when you realized... By the grace of God, Ethan is okay. You are an imbecile. You are crazy. Been sacrificing. Here we go again. Christianity is behind it. And no, man, no, no one mentions Christianity after all this crazy stuff. These people are brought up in Christian homes, Christianity infected homes. They screw it up their brains. And then they keep screwing it up in churches every Sunday. There you go, ignorance. Or Christian teachings that have been stagnated the, the mankind for 1700 years, giving you the fear of God. But it's actually the amygdala that creates that fear. And it's all in the brain. They had no idea that the brain created those organs. So here are MRIs of someone that suffers from uh, epilepsy, petit mal. And uh, believe me, if you compare the brains of uh, people that believe in a zombie Jesus that say with blood and one of schizophrenia, you'll find there is all that much different because they're both schizophrenia and, and Christianity accept bizarre mythological beliefs as true. But here's this Catholic hospital is a Christ psychosis infected hospital. They believe in a resurrecting zombies that say with blood. They believe in salvation. They believe in angels. They believe in all that crap. There is nothing that no different than schizophrenia. But they believe, they teach it to kids that is true. And they've been doing that for over 1500 years. In resurrecting Zambia said with blood and blood and sacrifice and sin and this, my flesh, is my body, crap like that. More Christ psychosis, schizophrenia nobody sees. These people rely in prayer. It's a mental condition. Prayers, prayers to what? This is the problem, you see it all over. Keep that in mind. Every time you see these little videos and stuff of the news, always keep in mind it's the, it's the cause of all the problems of this insanity is Christianity are bringing, molesting the brain of children at home by their parents that are infected and also in churches. Keep in mind, if you start believing in gods and demons, Getting the raptures and things like that. You have this paranoia, these feelings. You do have a problem. If you believe in God, you are in 